Remember, everything that I'm telling you in this video, it's tried, it's tested, and you can 100% rely on it. But what I need from you in this video is for the next 10 to 15 minutes, pay your undivided attention because I'm gonna be revealing the secrets of getting a 1500 plus within 30 days to you. Now, there's a catch when I say within 30 days and we're gonna get to that under point number one. But for now, let me actually tell you a little bit about the SAT that you need to know before you begin. So if you are in the United States, then the SAT is held probably every single month. But if you're an international, in most countries, it's held about five times a year. So make sure you know when SAT is held in your country. Remember, how much score you need depends on the kind of universities you're gonna be targeting. For instance, I'm gonna be taking you over here to wangrad.com and we can just take a look at Harvard University. Again, if you take a look at the undergraduate statistics over here, you will find that the average SAT score needed is something like this and the total over here is coming out to be 1510 so it's again 1500 plus now this is just an average of course if you get anything over and above this number then Howard will be more than happy to see that right so remember you can always check these scores right over here it's freely available you can go ahead and take a look at that but again make sure you have a target score ready Okay, your goal score should be with you. In this video, we're gonna assume that it's 1500 plus, okay? The next thing that I need to show you is the format of the test. You need to know before you even start working on the test, if you're doing it for the first time, before you start preparing, please go ahead and take a look at what a sample question paper looks like, or in fact, go ahead and take a look at what College Board gives out for free. And I'm gonna be showing you how you can get those test papers as well. Everything in this video, everything that I'm gonna be telling you, you're gonna be able to get all of that for free okay so i'm going to be showing you over here first off the format this is it the reading se section it has 65 minutes and you have 52 questions within those 65 minutes okay then there's the writing and language test 35 minutes 44 questions math test two sections with and without the calculator and then an optional like essay section which again if you're watching this video i don't want you to skip that essay section it's critically important even though they say it is optional okay so if you're watching this video you're going to be 10 steps ahead of most people and i'm going to be telling you exactly what to do just make sure that you follow that okay so you're not going to be sk skipping this one all right next part we're going to begin right with the video right with the schedule but before we get to that schedule there's just one thing that you need to do and that is to take one full length sat mock test okay this is critically important you see everyone's goal over here as you can see over here everyone's goal is 1500 right everyone who's watching this video the goal is 1500 but the starting point it could be different for different people for instance, over here in this image, you can see that someone's starting point may be 1200 and someone else's starting point may be 1400. The goal over here though is the same. So of course, who's gonna have to work more? The one with 1200 right now, right? So depending on where you stand right now, you're gonna have to put in the amount of preparation. Again, this varies by what you're doing right now, how much you're prepared for your test right now. So someone might just have to put in three hours every single day, someone else might have to put in four or five hours, okay? So that's why I would recommend make sure that you understand this thing because it's not a generic metric that I can just give you over here. It's not a generic schedule that I can give you, but I'm trying to make it as generalized as possible in this video so most of you can go ahead and use this right out of the box without any modifications. Great, so the next thing that we're gonna do, and this is the number two thing, and that is you're gonna be registering for the SAT. Go on to College Board's website. Take a look at the test. When is it being offered in your country? Within the period of 30 to 45 days, that's when you wanna book it. Let me tell you why I want you to book it in advance. You need to have a deadline. That is critically important. If you have a deadline, you're gonna be taking this preparation schedule much, much more seriously. And remember, there's no negative points for taking the test more than once, so you can definitely do it. Of course, it can be a costly affair, but I would suggest you to highly you know, it's highly recommended that you go ahead and book the test before you start working on this schedule. Trust me, it's going to help, okay? So you can go ahead and book the test, register for it right over here, like, like I'm showing you, and you can do it for your country. Now, getting started with your preparation plan. The number one resource that you have, and again, this is a free resource that you have, is the Khan Academy website. Over here, this is the best resource that I could find. And secondly, it's in partnership with College Board, so you know everything that they're producing is actually tried and tested again, 
okay it's official college board sponsors them as well and there's huge people like bill gates who are very very interested in making this material free to you so that's why khan academy is being able to offer that for free okay so you should definitely consider signing up over here this will be your sat dashboard you'll have your practice dashboard right here and this is our first step to the preparation okay in this one what we're going to be doing is what i want you to do is for the first one week you have to focus on this website and this website only you don't have to do anything else for the first one week make sure that this math reading writing and essay sections of the practice part right over here on your dash uh, on your dashboard right you have to finish these the way you do these is you go ahead watch the basic example video you watch the harder example video and then you start with the practice it's critically important that you do that and you do that for all of these not just math you have reading writing and you have the essay as well so make sure that you do all of that the tips and strategies you can take a look at them throughout your preparation within the next 30 days there's a lot of these and quite frankly they're very very useful but you know they're not really critical to your preparation but i would still suggest and this is highly recommended just go ahead take a look at some of these tips and tricks they will definitely help you okay so make sure you can maybe do four or five a day it's not very time taking you just have to read some text and you'll understand exactly what the tip is right so for the first seven days though this practice page this is your goal you have to finish that again like i said i'm going to be giving you a day by day schedule but within those seven days if you want to do reading first math first that's completely up to you it's fine okay so this is going to help you solidify your concepts remember we're, we're, we need to get our concepts back on track and secondly it's going to help you practice some very basic questions it's not going to be too hard but very basic SAT level questions that you're going to be able to take a look at over here okay and you're going to be able to solve them and understand how things work the next thing you're going to do is after your first seven days you have a set of 10 days now now what are you going to do in these 10 days you're going to be doing a lot of practicing okay remember you've already gotten hold of the concepts through Khan Academy so you don't need to practice the concepts and the tips and strategies from every different resource that I'm going to be telling you about but what you do need to do is practice practice does make perfect indeed and you're gonna to have to do this from the Barron's books I recommend these books they're very very good very very efficient again I highly recommend that you get these you buy these but if you're not able to buy these I'm gonna be telling you how you can get these for free later on for now just make sure that you understand this there's three books okay this is the reading workbook right over here okay there's the writing workbook and there's one more over here which is the critical reading workbook I believe the math one also I think I, I may not be able to show you over here there's one more that's the math workbook so there's three Barron's workbooks okay re critical reading then there's uh, you know writing and then there's the math one make sure you have all three of these they are very very important to your success and let me tell you what you're going to be doing you have 10 days you can split these any way you want I personally prefer three three four okay three days for you know one type of a book three days for another type of a book and four days for the math one okay in general that's the strategy I personally would recommend but still if you want to have a different kind of a split no problem just make sure you finish these within those 10 days and let me tell you what you have to do how you have to finish them okay if you go on over here and you take a look at the contents you will see that there's all of these things which are telling you about the strategies first and then they're giving you some practice exercises all you need to do is the practice exercise because you already have a grasp of the concepts if you feel that you're weak in some chapters you can go ahead and study those concepts from here as well apart from Khan Academy but apart from that all you really need to do is just the questions use these books only for the questions finish these practice tests and you're good to go you're golden okay you can do one practice test each day or you can finish the whole book and have all the practice tests at the end completely up to you completely fine as long as you finish all of these books in 10 days okay now with that we're going to be moving on to the next part of our preparation but before i do that i'm going to be telling you how you can get these for free we already have this google drive and i'm going to be telling you how you can get this sat folder for free which has all of these books okay so stay tuned for that but for now we'll move on to the next part of our preparation and that is the princeton book okay now this book over here let me actually show you the princeton book right over here this is the princeton princeton sat premium prep 2022 right now of course depending on when you're watching this they may have a different version try to get the latest version if possible if possible try to buy it that's also good the reason i suggest this is because it comes with an online portal like this which has practice tests as well of course don't don't you know i uh, don't disregard the khan academy practice test there's these as well and these are the official practice tests by the way you can take a look at these 
these are the ones from the official S80. But again, I think that you should have some more. But either way, we'll get to the practice test later on. But for now, you need to get this book. And we're going to be using this book for the next three days, okay? Not more than three days, that's it. Because we have the schedule for 30 days, that's accordingly why I'm giving you three days. But if you want to extend it a little bit, you have maybe 40 days instead of 30, then you can spend a little bit more time on this book. In general, let me tell you the purpose and how you're going to be using this book. You don't have to solve this entire book in three days, okay? But what you do need to do, you need to identify your weaker areas from the Baron's books that, all right, oh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit weak when it comes to algebra, you know, I'm a little bit weak when it comes to sentence completion. Whatever it is that you are weak at, you need to identify that and you need to practice that from this book, okay? You can also take a look at the concepts, but in general, the questions is what I'm looking for. You need to be able to do these questions. Of course, if you do them in a timed environment, that's perfect. But if you're, if you're not that good right now, if you still need some practice, make sure that you get some practice from this book, okay? So that's what you need to do next in the next three days. Focus on your weaknesses and that's all that you need to do from the Princeton book, all right? Now, moving on to the next phase of your preparation, and that is practice, practice, practice. Again, you're not gonna be doing some, you know, practice from random books. I'm gonna be telling you exactly what kind of practice. You need to take one mock test per day for the next 10 days. It's very important that you take one mock test per day. I would recommend if you can have like 15, 20 mock tests before your test, that's even better, but at least have 10 mock tests. At least sit down and take 10 mock tests. And the way you do that is one mock test per day, in the morning you take the mock test, it's gonna take three hours and 15 minutes, right? With the optional essay. Once you're done with that, in the afternoon you review it, review your mock test, see what, where you're going wrong, see what you can improvise on. And in the evening, if there are some weaker topics, you can just practice them from the Princeton book, okay? So that's generally the way that things are going to proceed over here. For the next 10 days, you're just gonna be practicing with a timer, making sure that things are going according to your plan, making sure that your body and your mind is used to sitting down for those three hours and 15 minutes and performing under those conditions as well. So this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be conditioning your mind. And the best mock tests to take are of course these ones. These are the official SAT ones. The official SAT guide also has essentially the same tests, but you can actually go ahead and you can you can basically you know take them online or you can go ahead and download these two. I'm not quite sure where they give you the option. You can see right over here, download the PDF versions and you can download the PDF versions if you want and then you can go ahead and you can print out the whole test if you want. Once you print it out, you can take it accordingly. Again, completely dependent on you. If you take it online though, they will give you recommendations. They will tell you what you can do to improvise. The same thing is there with Princeton as well. Remember, I recommend taking tests from at least two types of test makers. The reason is that you'll basically understand how different types of test makers think and different types of questions can be built. Okay, and that's why I recommend doing at least two kinds. So one can be directly from College Board, that's from Khan Academy, and the other ones can be from this portal. Now this portal is probably the only thing that you will find paid in this video. This is the only paid one, but the good news is, is that if you go onto the link in the description of this video, you'll be able to get it at a discount price again. Okay, but in general, apart from this, everything else in this video is for free and it's available on either this Google Drive or Khan Academy is already free. Okay, so hopefully this should help you out. Now I have two other tips for you before you leave this video. Number one, actually let's make those three other tips because number one is that you should subscribe if you're enjoying this video up as of now and you feel that the effort that I'm putting in or the information that I'm giving you is legitimate. I would really appreciate it. Okay, getting on with the second tip now and that is that you will come across a lot of words that you don't know the meanings of. Now I personally would not recommend you to go ahead and take a look at word lists, you know, 3,500 words, 2,000 words. That's not really how it works. In general, whenever you come across a new word, and I'm gonna be pasting a screenshot over here, you can see I personally built my own dictionary as well. It's recommended that you write down that word, write down the meaning, write down a couple of synonyms if you can, and then write a sentence next to that word, okay? If you want my dictionary, again, it's available on the same discounted website that I, I showed you, but in general, I recommend that you build your own. Whenever you come across a word while doing your practice tests, while doing your practice questions, and you don't know the meaning of that word, make sure to write it down and include that in your dictionary. Trust me, it will do you wonders, okay? And the second tip is for your essay section, for that optional 15 minute essay, you wanna take a look at just a couple of essays which scored a perfect 24 out of 24. It is really important that you do that because then you understand exactly what you can improvise on, exactly what you can do better, 
how can you make your own essays better if you don't see the top-notch essays trust me it's gonna be really hard for you to understand what the test makers expect from you okay you just gotta get that gist of the expectation and once you have that trust me you are golden okay so thank you so much for watching this video again sign up on wangrad.com go ahead complete this offer of the year to get that Google Drive link right over here you'll be able to get that and you'll be able to get that delivered to your email within 30 minutes of completing this and apart from that I hope that you score a perfect 1600 also but at least 1500 plus after watching this video let me know your scores down in the description thank you so much for watching don't forget to reach out to me on Instagram because there's so much study abroad content that you can use in your preparation right over there thank you so much